Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, Nokia recently launched the Nokia 8.1 and that's interesting for two reasons. First of all, it's interesting because any phone that Nokia launched at the moment is worth looking into to see the direction that this company is taking. And secondly, it because it uses the Snapdragon 710 processor. Now the 700 series is kind of a new series for Qualcomm. We've got the 600 series we know very well. We've got the 800 series, which we know very well. And now sandwiched between them, there is this 700 series. And there's lots of questions about how does it compare to the 800 series? How does it compare to the 600 series? Now the 710, the Snapdragon 710, actually has got similar cores to what you find in the 800 series using Cortex-A75, Cortex-A55, and it's got the sixth generation Adreno GPU in it. So this is gonna be first of two videos probably. In this first one, I want to compare the Nokia 8.1 with the OnePlus 6T, which has got the Snapdragon 845 in it. And then if there's interest, and please let me know in the comments, I'd like to compare it to one of the higher end phones in the 600 series, something maybe with a 660, for example. So how does the Nokia 710 compare to the 845? Well, without further delay, let the testing begin. Okay, let's get the test going. On the left, we have the OnePlus 6T. On the right, we have the Nokia 8.1. The OnePlus 6T has got the Snapdragon 845 with the Adreno 630, and it's already taken the lead there. It's now into the blur test. The Snapdragon 710 is in the Nokia 8.1, and it has a Adreno 616, and now already the OnePlus 6T is still ahead. It's now in the 2048 test, as is the Nokia 8.1. On the left-hand side now, we've gone into the blur test, so the lead is clearly building up here on the OnePlus 6T, even though we haven't even got to talk Talk about that GPU so far. We really are dealing with the CPU here. We're into the SQL light test. The Nokia is still in the uh, blur test. It's now into the SQL light test, but the OnePlus 6T has already gone from there. It's now into the 3D cubes test. And the SQL light test here is looking pretty slow on the Snapdragon 710 there. That is not very fast at all. That is watching dr water draining out of a bath, but it's finally got into the 3D cube test, but already the OnePlus 6T has gone past the 2D gaming test and it's into the 16 thread test. So clearly now this is way in the head and upcoming next, of course, is the Unity test and it's going to get into that test way before the Nokia 8.1 does. And now we're going to see the true power of the difference between the Adreno 630 and the Adreno 616. Now, while the OnePlus 6T is storming ahead there through the uh, Unity test, the uh, Nokia is still going through the 16 thread test and it doesn't seem to be doing very fast either. That is quite disappointing, actually, at the speed we're seeing there in that test. I would have expected a bit more from there. It's now going to go into the Unity test, though. That's coming up now. But, of course, clearly at this point, the OnePlus 6T has a clear lead over the uh, Snapdragon 710 in the Nokia 8.1. And now the OnePlus 6T is going into the compression test. 7, 8... Nine. Let's see what final time we get. There we have it. One minute and 49 seconds as we always had from the OnePlus uh, 6T consistently in all of our tests. One minute and 49 seconds. Now at this moment now we're going to have to wait for the Nokia 8.1 to finish its test. So let's just point out a few things here. First of all, the clock rates are very different in these two phones. For example, although they've both got Cortex A75 cores, one is clocked at 2.8 gigahertz. That's the OnePlus 6T with the Snapdragon 845 whereas the Snapdragon 710 is clocked at only 2.2 gigahertz. So there is already a significant difference there in terms of clock speed. Also, the Snapdragon 710 has less level 2 and level 3 cache, which does affect the performance. And this is coming up right now to the end of this uh, 3D test now, and then we're going to be into compression test. Now, once the final time comes, that will be the end of the video. I'll just say now, my name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe, do like, and do comment. Now, let's see what this final time is that we get here. Two minutes and 49 seconds. So there's a whole minute's difference between the Snapdragon 845 and the Snapdragon 710.